Hi everyone, I'm Cheryl. In this problem, we're going to be using the change of variables, x equals one half times the quantity u plus v, and y equals one half times the quantity u minus v, to help us evaluate this double integral over the region r, which is pictured right here. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get the image by looking at my change of variables. So I'm gonna go ahead and rewrite this transformation as 2x equals u plus v and 2y equals u minus v. Adding these two equations together, I'm going to end up with 2x plus 2y equals 2u or x plus y equals u. That gives us a way to express u in terms of x and y. So now I'm going to take this and plug it into one of the other, one of the original equations. So let's write this as, let's use the first one, and we'll say 2x equals u, which is x plus y plus v. So now I know that x minus y is going to equal v. And so that gives us a way of describing v in terms of x and y. All right, so I want to move from my original region to its image. So I'm gonna look at some of the data points. Originally, in the xy plane, I'm looking at the point zero, one, negative one, zero, zero minus one, and one, zero. So let's see what those coordinates look like using u's and v's. Well, I know that u is x plus y, so that'll be 0 plus 1, which is 1, and v is x minus y, so that will be 0 minus 1, or a negative 1. Negative 1, 0 translates into the u value will be negative 1 plus 0, so that's negative 1, and negative 1 minus 0, that's negative 1. The point 0, 1 for u will be 0 plus a negative 1, negative 1, and 0 minus a negative 1, which is a positive 1. And finally, I have, this will be a 1 plus 0, which is 1, and a 1 minus 0, which is 1. So if I graph this then on the UV plane, I'll have the point 1, negative 1, which is right here, the point negative 1, negative 1, which is right here, negative 1, positive 1, which is here, and 1, 1, which is here. So you can see that I'm going to have a square. And that's my image S. All right, so next, let's go ahead and look at that double integral. So I've got the integral over the region. Four times the quantity x squared plus y squared dA. Now what I'm going to want to do is convert this so that I am integrating over the image s. So if I'm in integrating over s, I'm going to have 4 times the quantity. Now I want to write in terms of u's and v's. So what is x squared? Well, I know that x is 1 half the quantity u plus v. So when I square that, I'll have 1 fourth times the quantity u plus v squared. Then I have to add y squared, which will be 1 fourth times the quantity u minus v squared. Okay. Now the dA, when I convert this, I need the absolute value of the Jacobian of xy with respect to uv. And then I can integrate with respect to u and then with respect to v. Okay, so there are a couple things I need. First of all, there's going to be some simplification that I can do to this piece of the integrand. But I'm also going to need to know what that Jacobian is, and then I also need my limits of integration. So let's take a minute, first of all, and do that Jacobian. Okay, so what is the Jacobian? Well, if you remember, the Jacobian 
of xy with respect to uv is the determinant of the partial of x with respect to u, partial of x with respect to v, and partial of y with respect to u, partial of y with respect to v. So in this particular problem, what is the partial of x with respect to u? Remember, I'm treating v as a constant, so the partial is just going to be a 1 half. And the partial of x with respect to v, again, this time I'm treating u as a constant, so that will also be 1 half. The partial of y with respect to u, treating v as a constant, will be 1 half again. And the partial of y with respect to v, this time will be a negative 1 half. So when I find this determinant, I'm going to have 1 half times a negative 1 half, which is going to be a minus 1 fourth. And then I need to subtract 1 half times 1 half, so I'll be subtracting 1 fourth. And so I get a negative 1 half. All right, so let's go back to my integral. I've got my double integral. Notice here, with the algebraic simplification, I'm going to factor out a 1 fourth, and it's going to cancel with the 4. So I end up with just u plus v quantity squared, which is u squared plus 2uv plus v squared plus u squared minus 2uv plus v squared. I need the absolute value of the Jacobian, so that's the absolute value of a minus 1 half, and du dv. OK, now let's talk about those limits of integration. This is why we're using the image instead of the original picture, because how is u changing? It's changing from negative 1 to positive 1. And how is v changing? It's changing from negative 1 to positive 1. So those limits of integration were very easy. OK, so let's see. Some more simplification at this point. One thing I'm going to notice about these limits of integration, I can certainly do it this way. But I can also just go from 0 to 1 and 0 to 1 for both u and v, and then quadruple my answer. So that might make the calculation a little easier. So I'll have 4 times the integral from 0 to 1, integral 0 to 1. And then this piece, notice that I've got a 2uv and a minus 2uv. Those cancel out, and I end up with 2u squared plus 2v squared, the absolute value of negative 1 half is 1 half, du dv. So 4, the integral from 0 to 1, integral from 0 to 1. I can factor out a 2, and that cancels with the 1 half. So I've got u squared plus v squared du dv. So working on the inside integral first, I'll have 4 times the integral from 0 to 1. I'm integrating with respect to u, so I treat v as a constant. So my integral will be u cubed all over 3 plus v squared times u evaluated from 0 to 1 dv. So that's going to be 4 times the integral from 0 to 1. Plugging in the 1 for all of my u's, I'm going to have a 1 third plus v squared. And when I plug in a 0, everything goes to 0. So I just have the dv at the end. And now I'm ready to integrate with respect to v. So I'm going to have 4 times the quantity. This will be 1 third v plus v cubed all over 3, evaluated from 0 to 1. Plugging in my upper limit of 1, I'm going to have a 1 third plus 1 third, which is 2 thirds. And I subtract what happens when I plug in a 0, but that's just 0. And my result is 8 thirds. I hope that was helpful. Thanks.